you could tell that that was cut from the street. Like, like that was him. That was molten lava that, that erupted and then settled. And now you have this beautiful island. Like, <laughs> like that's, that, that's. Bars, nigga. <laughs> I know, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> Bro, you heard that shit? That's mother poetry, <laughs> nigga. God damn. It's not even bars. Cooking. That's poetry, B. Over there cooking, boy. Dead in Hip Hop album review. D2X, the hunger era. Look, man, first time D2X is in the chamber. You know, but look, if you want more reviews, go subscribe to DE365 Reviews. Me and Ken, a review a day, your daily dose of music uh, content. Go over there if you want more reviews. However, I'm going to alley-oop this thing to Sonny because Sonny said we had to put this guy in the chamber. So, Sonny. Give us the 411, the info. Maybe, you know, that's too old for the new kid. <laughs> but give me the info on D2X. Why was he a must for the chamber? So just from like, how can I put it? I know like that's always been kind of a question we've had just personally. Like, you know, are they in like dead and hip hop babies? And like, mm -hmm. this guy's like, he's the very definition of a dead and hip hop baby. He came up watching y'all guys and um, everything. You can really hear it in the influence of his music. Mm -hmm. Just his style. I'm um, pretty sure you already know it's like from the cover and everything like that. Mm -hmm. He has a, you know, he, you can really tell like he's tapped in. Like he's an actual like student of the game. Like, yeah. so he takes his rap and stuff seriously. So just, you know, I've been watching him bubble up for the past couple of years or so. He's been really putting a lot of good work in. A lot of people are really Chicago? starting to go. Yep, he's from Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So, Chicago, yeah, man. Chicago, man. You know, I always got to say that. <laughs> the name of the project is extremely appropriate. The Hunger Era. This nigga sound hungry than a motherfucker. This nigga sound like, bro, if you got food on that plate, dog, give a fuck who you is. I'm about to eat that shit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I think that, I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but this is very simple. The concept, everything that he did. Dope raps, dope beats. You know what, what I'm more do you want? What more do you want? I'll tell you, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, like, like, that's exactly what this is, bro. Like, from, from the moment that it came on with the theme song, then it goes to fire. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I've never heard. So that wow, if y'all know where that's from, right? So, you know, Kanye had like mm -hmm. a song. Called, okay, Ride Knows. Yeah, yeah Ride Knows. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kanye had a song called Wow. And the, the way he did the chorus was kind of similar to how Kanye mm -hmm. did the chorus for that mm -hmm. one or whatever. Damn, like you gotta, go I gotta, I got eleven plaques. You gotta go sing a while. Like yeah, it's. I was like, oh shit, and that, like it's an unreleased Kanye song. Like uh -huh. he never released it. It was kind of like during between the college dropout and late registration era of dope, Kanye. So dope, yeah, I remember dope. hearing that on the net. Dope. So yeah, right. That's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. No, I'm glad you said that about the. That's what it sounded like. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it it's weird because. It was almost like a detriment, but also a positive. Like it, it, it was, mm. it was weird for me because, like, hearing him rhyme like that, like he's so hungry, uh -huh. I felt tired. Like I felt like <laughs> I felt like I was trying to catch my breath. Like Damn. it found, it sounds like he's constantly like. It's almost like he's trying to catch his breath. Like it's just like he's mm. so. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I gotta get this. That, that, yeah. That's how he's rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, I was tired. <laughs> it's like, I was just like, damn, nigga. Like, <laughs> like calm down. Like, it's all right. Damn, but then, nigga. <laughs> but you know, it was crazy because yeah. when I rhymed that time on the, on the thing, I sounded hungry. hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I can appreciate it. But I don't know if I could take that a whole album. But it's, so, not, it's not that long, though. It's not. Yeah. It's not. But that, that was the feeling when I first listened to it. Mm -hmm. A couple more listens, I was like, oh man, I started settling into it a little bit more. Yeah. Like I was just like, you know, I can appreciate like I definitely could appreciate it, but but now if it's it made me tired. Like I was like, oh man, I don't feel like <laughs> listening to this right now because I feel tired. <laughs> Damn nigga, I get it. You hungry, yeah, nigga? Like, like I, I like yeah. I get it. Like, and I think it was a little overwhelming mm -hmm. for it to be track after track, you know what I'm saying? Then the beats are loud. So you but think he should have kind of switched it up a little bit, maybe. Not, not necessarily on? because he, like, like Fifo said, he, nigga, call it the hunger era. Yeah, Shit, is, you, yeah, you yeah, lived up. This is yeah. what it is. Like, you either take it or leave it. Yeah. This is what I feel right now, so I can appreciate that. I think if you know on a, on another go round or on a different album, I would like to hear a little bit more variety. Him kind of scale back a little maybe bit, give will. it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like, do some more minimalistic beats or whatever, mm -hmm. and just kind of float over them. So I kind of wanted to hear that, but then when I, like I said, FIFO hit a nail on the head for me personally, like, that's what the album was. He called it The Hunger for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, I've been overlooked. I'm not the next in line. I am, I'm right now, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm not the best thing, next, next best thing. I'm right now, like, you know what I'm saying? So I can appreciate that, that, um, uh, what we call it, um, 
like that cockiness or whatever, yeah. like, you know. Um, so nah, man, yeah, I thought dude was dude was solid. I didn't know, I had no clue, because I don't think I was here when y'all made the decision to, to review this. So I didn't know where this came from. I didn't know whose suggestion it was. I didn't know, I, I caught that he was from Chicago, so I thought maybe you, somebody you came across. But nah, man, I, I thought it, I thought he was cool though. I, I thought he was really. I think he has a lot of potential. I think I want to see more variety, mm -hmm. but I think he so, had potential. So, so this sure. is where I slightly disagree with. Okay. You, right. Like I feel like on a longer project, yes, variety mm -hmm. is key. But I feel like when you name something, like I said, like the the, the hunger era, yeah. and he sounds the way he. I, I I'm. I'm glad he stayed in that pocket. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you. you. Know no, no, no. I know, and, and, oh, that's, oh, oh. and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, oh. like I feel you, but. On this particular project, like I don't think that that's what I'm. That's what I'm, I'm with you mm -hmm. on this project. If you're gonna call it that, yeah, do that. Do you that. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying that that may not be what I want all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you, you did, you executed, you did yes. what you set out to do. Like mm -hmm. that just doesn't resonate with me throughout an entire project. Mm -hmm. I, dog, I felt man, I I felt exhausted. It's like listening to a track of like Onyx or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's not Onyx, obviously, yeah. but. But like, yeah, I just, you know, I, I wanted variety. I wanted some different stuff and I just never got it. But, you know, I'm not saying that I should have got it. I'm just saying that just is what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? But you call it the hunger era. I mean, that that's what it is. I, I feel your take on <laughs> being a little exhausted from it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel that, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like it. This is something I'm definitely going to, you know, say you hit the gym, you working now, you playing basketball. It has a know, place. It just, it just has that. Yeah. You know and maybe I just wasn't there. You know, I'm, I'm, I like like mellow shit sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny you say workout because I played this when I was working out. Oh, that's the other day. It was perfect. Day before, yeah, day before yesterday I was working out. I was yeah. like, bam, I'm going to pop this on. Yeah. Let this bad boy ride. It's, it's definitely has a place. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think you mentioned, you said uh, cockiness. Yeah, he definitely has a confidence yeah. on the microphone that I think I can appreciate, especially this being my mm -hmm. first, first li time listening to him. And this, he's kind of pushing it like if this is his like his like he I think he he knows that this project is getting a lot more ears than his previous stuff so it's like he mm -hmm. has to be confident he mm -hmm. has to come out there with like with some type of flamboyant energy mm -hmm. and um, man yeah this came out the gate with the theme song the thing and Ken I want to ask you this like he it seemed like he had a lot of DC reference in here but then he got DC a song had, called Marvel yeah yeah it's both. Okay. Yeah, DC, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of comic references. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You, and and I think one of y'all said you can tell he's definitely a student of the game. Mm -hmm. Like he's definitely a guy that that knows his hip hop. Sound like I mean. Jay Z influence. Did y'all pick that up at all? I picked up more. I won't say influence, but I kind of got some Dave East vibes from him in, in some some areas. Not saying that he's influenced mm. by Dave East, but I heard some Dave East in him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, it was a way he, because because Dave East could sound real passionate at times too. Like he's mm. always, like his voice kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I and I kind of heard that in moments. But yeah, I, I could definitely see, because he he mentioned, I think he mentioned listening the to Black Album, Black yeah, Album, like, and some other that was stuff. Like, like an yeah. awakening for him, yeah, or something like that. Like Get rich and like, die yeah, yeah, like, That's one thing. The nigga made me feel old as fuck. <laughs> Bruh, cause when he said, yeah, my mom was playing Get Rich and Die Trying. the classics I'm like, and shit. I'm like, nigga, yeah. Playing I'm, Alicia I'm Keys yeah. and B. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, bro, I was nigga, growing up. <laughs> like, I was, I was, I was, I was the dog. Nah, like, that's, that's crazy. That's a tall ass kid. Yeah, I know, no, I was feeling like, old as fuck. I'm like, yeah. man, bro. Talking about this. But he said yeah. he was five in what, year 2000, so yeah, it makes man, sense, bro. I was like, bro. That makes sense. I'm this like, nigga, man. like, the age of my fucking daughter, dog. Like, that shit. Man, yeah. 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 Come on, that's my daughter's one in 02. That's crazy, bro. So, <laughs> dog, crazy. I felt old as yeah, fuck with some of those lines he was saying. Yeah, that's crazy, I was bro. like, how old is this nigga? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, but, hey, we up You're there, bro. You're born in 1997. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's I mean, crazy. think about it, bro. Like, he was talking about how stuff came out in 2005 and shit, nigga. Yeah. It's 2024, nigga. Yeah. It's 2025. He said it's unks and unks. Bro, that's us. Yeah. yeah. That's literally us. That's bro. us for real. That's us for, shit for real. I said my daughter. My daughter's right. fucking around his age. Bro, that's crazy. I love how he has some, like, a little Kanye influence with the production on mm -hmm. the beat. Mm -hmm. I'm home. Like, I thought that was going to be the closing track because it sounded like It sounded like, like a closing track. But... But that, then he the came other, with Art of the Man, yeah, the Art of the, Art of the I was like, okay, now that's how you close it. Yeah. Like, those, these last two tracks for me was like, that was the yeah. the great run right there. I think yeah. I think B in the Art of Hunger was like, holy shit, like, what a way to finish the album. I think mm -hmm. you started out nice. You didn't you didn't come out punching super duper hard, but you came out like, okay, 
And then yeah, fire and then wild. Like okay, I peeped the Kanye uh ode to Kanye on that one. The hills, hills and hurdles. And hurdles yeah, what? the feature. I forgot the guy that uh, Osir. I think he had. I'm oh, sorry. I'm like sorry. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he was. He was. He, he did his thing. Oh yeah, he feature. had a Chris Patrick on wild too. On wild, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I'm about to say, I thought it was a cool feature, but you can you can hear that hunger that y'all was talking about that pain in the art of hunger. How he finished it, like that shit was dope, man. That shit was so damn dope. But yeah, this was this was a, this was a solid project. I think. Like I said, I like his confidence. I like the fact that he's a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, I think he can. I think he can definitely grow from this one. I think he can definitely come out and make a better project. I think he's that good of an MC to where he can kind of give you some more variety. I know, yeah, for this one, he probably had a theme and he stuck with it. I'm cool with that. Which is cool, yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. He said yeah. make a better project. Damn. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did say that. No, I didn't. You you know who I can hear him working with? I think it would be dope. Who? God MC. I am God. Yeah, I am yeah, God. Yeah, from Chicago. They both from Chicago. They yeah. both from Chicago. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because, because be nice. their styles, I feel they're complimentary. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, can he they double probably time know a each bit? Other. They probably they, know each other. They probably do. Be surprised. Make that shit happen. Yeah, yeah they, they might be surprised. Make that shit happen. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I think I am God to get him, though. Yeah. I, no, no, I, I, I think so. He's a little bit more polished. He's yeah. a little bit more yeah. deeper in the game. You could, you could tell. Mm-hmm. Like, you could just tell. So, I agree. But I think that'll be great for him to... Like, oh, we don't get some features and stuff, kind of sh- steel sharp and steel type of 100%, thing. Yeah, 100%. yeah. No, I, I feel like, look, I feel like he, he, y'all said it perfect, man. He set up to, to, to prove a point with this project, with this short EP, and he did it. I think whatever he wanted to, to do on this EP, he did it from the production to the rapping, everything. He, he mm-hmm. dope beats, dope rhymes. Yep. That's pretty much it. Yep. That's all you're going to get from this, and that's. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like how you open it up yeah. too. Um, with the theme song, yeah, like with the beat switch, switch and shit. That mm-hmm. shit was dope as fuck. And home had a beat switch too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home had a dope ass beat Man, switch. Like, yeah. This was good. Yeah. This was really good. I, I was I was pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. Surprise? Yeah. yeah impressed? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah right. He can rap. <laughs> You know, BC, you got to beat selection and stuff uh-huh. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a student of the game. I, I feel all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, What's missing? What's missing for you? I know you was about to go there. Like an it factor or something? I know, right? Nah, he too, got too polished, bro. He's too polished? He's too polished? He got like, got like old man game. Like, it's it's weird because it's like, this sounds Young like a... old man game? Yeah, because it sounds like a... Like a... Like a like, Definitely is throwback. Mm-hmm. Like I could some of these beats, beats and stuff yeah, I could some... hear back from back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's twenty twenty four. Yeah, almost like almost like heat makers almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's why I like mm-hmm. you know, you can hear the Kanye mm-hmm. Chicago influences mm-hmm. and the type of beats and stuff. Some of the way he rhymed. I hear like Jay, you guys mentioned some other folks and stuff like that. Like it's like he really studied and perfected. All of this. There are no imperfections. Sometimes imperfections are good. <laughs> really? Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> what do you mean by imperfections? Like some slippage or something like that? Or like what you mean? You know, just like, like it's almost like he's too perfect. Really? You know? Yeah, it sounds weird. But it's like that hunger, that drive, everything you guys are talking about. You hear that? Like, yeah, it's like he's almost damn near the perfect package. Really? Where, where is like, the room to grow or the mistakes or he can work on this he can work on that so you feel like this project he's this he's the apex predator pretty much on this project i want to be apex predator okay but he's not the apex predator yet okay, okay. yeah he's, he's the new kid on the block you know, he, he look he like ain't. he got, huh? He said he ain't kidding. Yeah, I mean, he got the, you know, he walk, he walk around, <laughs> he slow, come up on the block. But no, nah, I mean, he's good. He's gifted. He got the skills. And everything, but it sounds like it's just it sounds too ready made for me. Damn, yeah. that is so hilarious. It, it's it's weird, but remember, we've I said I'm this not, before yes, about other guys. Yes, it's just yeah, like yeah. okay, so it's not yeah. the first time. It's not the first. No, time. it's it's not, and it's it's a odd critique, and it sounds. But see, I, I understood it on the last project. Oh, I can't remember Buddy's name, but we did it on the three. It probably was a white rapper. What white rappers no, he was are black. notorious? I remember, he was an actor too. No, you're right. And, you're right, and, and that's you're the reason right. why I forgot he was who it like, was. And, and, and you was like, that's the reason why it sounds too perfect because he, you could tell he took the acting shit into the music, <coughs> and it's like that's why yeah. he felt perfect. Yeah. With yeah. him, can I feel what you're saying? But I don't necessarily agree because I feel like the perfection came from, 
like him wanting to be that. Like it's not fake. Like like when you hear him rap and the stories he's telling and, and the, the, the the little layers that he peels back because a lot of it is about his struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like most niggas ain't even supposed to be here, but I feel like I'm the greatest type. You know, you could tell that that was cut from the street. Like, like that was him. That was molten lava that that erupted and then settled, and now you have this beautiful island. Like, <laughs> like that's that that's bars, nigga. <laughs> I know, right? You know what I'm saying <laughs> poetry. But you heard that shit? That's motherfucking poetry, nigga. God damn. It's not even bars. Cooking. That's poetry, B. He's over there cooking, boy. This is like a molten that erupted and created a beautiful island. The fuck? <laughs> nigga, if y'all ain't subscribed to Daddy Hip Hop, what the fuck wrong with y'all? Nigga, we dropping gems. This nigga, man. <laughs> Audibly, there is an imperfection. But I think the way that he grew into the rapper that he was, there was imperfection in there. That's why I asked how many projects he had because I want, like, I would like, I love to hear the progression. Oh, yeah, you don't start yeah. here, right? Exactly. We're we're starting at we're starting where he's at now. Mm. I definitely I should have gone back and listened to the first two to see if there's like mm-hmm. the rawness. I'm still working on it, mm-hmm. you know, where I could hear like, oh man, that's a potential here. It's not there yet. But maybe in the next project, the next project, like maybe if I was there in the beginning, right? With mm-hmm. the first album, then the second was like, okay, he's almost there. And then this was like, oh shit, he's there now. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I'm starting like where he's already like got yeah. everything. Where he's touching but, his prime. You know, but you know, I shit, I can match your little volcano thing, right? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. you're little, you're little. You're little. Right. Niggas gotta say, you're little, me. You like your little, your little volcano <laughs> shit. <laughs> Every time. I think it was 1989, there was this <laughs> volcanic eruption that came out and just messed up everything and shit was fucked up. Mm-hmm. You know? And they had, <laughs> the, the scientists had to send their fucking gophers to restore the land and yeah. all kind of shit that was going on because shit was fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's the restoration? Like, I see where it's like everything came out as all this, that, and the other. But, like, out of that, there was destruction. You know, where's the like taking that and building it back up into into this this thing. Well, we gotta go back. Yeah, yeah we gotta I'm going with you and going back. Again, he can rap, he's good, the songs are great. It's just like, the hunger is there. But, and maybe it's like this thing, like where is where is like the, the struggle, the story and stuff like that. But I love the, the, the comic references and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Those are dope. Um, as the well, you know, like yeah, 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 the artwork, artwork is dope, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. He can rap his ass off. Um, I'm here with, from, I, I don't even think there's a song really on here that I, I dislike. I'm talking about kind of like the artist to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. Cause I think people like that, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they, they want to hear that. They want to grow with you. And again, maybe I'm just starting at the tail end of it. But yeah, Fire, Wild, Hills and Hurdles, I like the Beatles and Hurdles. That was good. Marvel was cool. I'm with you on the last two yeah, closing yeah. tracks. Mm-hmm. I think those those were were dope as well. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he got what it takes to to be great. But it's almost like what's what's that thing that people can hold on to? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I can listen to this, but it's almost like shit. This is almost a dime a dozen for niggas like this. You know, I always talk about brand right like mm-hmm. it's, it's some of the artists that we really fuck with like the butchers come in that's it you know what yeah, I'm saying? Larry yeah, June, I see where you everybody got something that is signature to them he doesn't have that signature thing yet mm-hmm. whether it's a brand right like oranges or whatever that is mm-hmm. he don't have that so there is no association there is no tie it's just dope beats and dope rhymes at first i was like dang is it gonna be the marvel shit but we got people that do Marvel raps now, mostly mm-hmm. on the underground mm-hmm. uh, scene as well. You know, um, so I, I know thought, so, I know some uptick in that like that style yeah. of, of, of hip, like at least those like type of project themes. Yeah, yeah, it's undeniable. Skill and talent, mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. is undeniable. But I think you're right. I think we got there. How the the branding part of it, like mm-hmm. the the fan base, building a fan base, mm-hmm. cultivating that, giving them something. Who the fuck is D2X? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And why the fuck should I be paying attention? Because all these other motherfuckers out here can rap. Why should I follow you? 
You know what I'm saying? What is it about you that I can connect with to make you point you about your shit? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I, I do think the brand and all of those other, like just the subtleties, even like um, when niggas do ad libs, sometimes you get, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's just a signature thing that you do. Yeah. He don't have that signature thing yet. At least it wasn't displayed in this project. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I have to go back and listen yeah. and see, you know, maybe he does. Maybe he just didn't do it on this project. I don't know. But I, I, I do agree that that is missing. My other critique would be like to break up the the rap the 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 uh like playing his cadence no 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 not even that well i said that already mm, okay. but the other part the other critique is to break up the uh damn the um the bars from the hook mm -hmm. so it's just like he's barring 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 and then his hook is almost like bars too mm -hmm. like it's just like and that's like every song it's no it's no real yeah real like like melodies on the hook or something mm -hmm. like that you know what i'm saying like because y'all said i think y'all mm -hmm. said the same thing about flatbush zombies way back when. oh wow like, yeah yeah, yeah. y'all said the same thing about them it's like, that very bar issue. heavy yeah y'all need something to break up the bars like all of that aggression and then you go into the hook <laughs> you gotta give people a break yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i needed a, remember i said i felt yeah, exhausted yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. like and i think if you had like some some different hooks or somebody else on the hooks and mm -hmm. not you just doing the hook your hook is literally like a yeah, rhyme. Sure you going? It, it almost felt like you just rhyme, like another yeah. rhyme scheme. And it's just like I need a hook. You know what I'm saying? I need something that I. Can, do do y'all remember any of the hooks? No. Except Wow. No, yeah, except for Wow, because that's that was exactly. Wow's the, yeah. Yeah, my, Wow's the main one that probably stands. Yeah, that's probably yeah. the main one. Yeah. Everything yeah. else is just yeah. like it's so yeah. bar heavy. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like you need something to break it up. I think that's fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, somebody we just did recently, I think, does an amazing job of that. Freddie Gibbs. Oh hell yeah! You, because he yeah yeah because yeah. he can. Double time flow mm -hmm. and he'll slow up yeah. the hook part mm -hmm. so that we could catch up and mm -hmm. go back to double time. Yeah, it gives you time to breathe. Yeah, yeah, it gives you time to yeah. breathe, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, yeah. I'm telling you I that that disagree. was the part. He was like he was hungry on every part, yeah. <laughs> nigga, on the verses and the hooks, yeah. nigga. And he even was, somebody that I just mentioned too, B, that you put us on God. Mm -hmm. um, he he does a good job of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're on the hooks. You know what I'm saying? Like he gives you that that break. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah, so nah, yeah. That, that that is that is really good critique, right? Mm -hmm. That's really yeah, good critique. So. Well, it ain't got to be nothing cheesy, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. something just like yeah, it yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, feels yeah. a little you gotta lighter. You got to find your pocket with it. Yeah, something a little lighter. Yeah, you do have to find your pocket with mm -hmm. it for sure. It's it's an art to uh, hooks, yeah, 100%, man. Yeah, 100%. It's an art to That shit can really make a break. Bars, the, the yeah. This is the hard part. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can make a break a fucking yep. um, record, bro. Making songs and stuff, they, mm -hmm. they used to call them tricks back in the day. I forgot who I was listening to. Mm -hmm. But he said that that Jay Z was good at that, mm. having those tricks that mm. he would put in that that would catch people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it would be the one in the club that people everybody know what it is. Yeah. It's that that moment, that yeah. signature moment in the song. Yeah. yeah, can't see him coming down my eyes, but I gotta make the song cry. Like it's just like yeah. it, it's just so catchy. You know what I'm saying? Like that that shit, mm -hmm. and then with the with that that uh. But but, but, see, yeah. but the reason why that hook goes so hard is yeah. because it it ties to every man's ego. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, Especially right. if you're a tough guy, a hood, mm -hmm. tough guy that he portrays. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm not going to cry in front of you. Right. But shit, sometimes a thug do got to drop a tear, but mm -hmm. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to you in art form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah. Genius. That's why I'm going to that nigga. But look, 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 look. Sound like it's about the great time. Uh oh. Uh oh. A minus? That shit was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that me and Ken said it the same time like that. So I watched the video. That's what made me laugh. <laughs> 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 A minus? All right, so look. If this is your first time here, These are this is what we are grading. Flow, lyrics, production, features, execution, replay value, and overall. All right. So I'm going to start off with the flow. I'm giving my guy D2X a B plus. I'm gonna give him a B minus, and I've already kind of explained that I want to hear more variety. But I thought the flow, this particular flow, was good though. It's it, like can't say it's very polished. I give him a B minus. Uh, shit, I gave it a B minus too. Okay, so we, 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 you know what I'm yeah. saying? we all in the same yeah. game. Yeah, we all in the same game. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You know what I'm talking about? Man. I know what you're talking about. Oh, what, you man. what about you with the uh, Ken with the lyrics? B. Okay. I give him a B too. <laughs> Yeah, lyrics are solid B. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm at a B with lyrics. Wow. The production, I'm at a B plus. Okay. Um, I'm at. Yeah, I could have went either way. Uh, uh, I'm at a solid B. I was gonna give it a B minus because I'm with Ken, 
it did sound a little dated in certain parts, but it was solid though. It was solid production, so I'm just gonna give it a solid B. I gave it a solid B as well. Yeah. I almost was like you, right? I almost mm -hmm. gave it a B minus. Yeah. But yeah, I, a solid B. Mm -hmm. I'm at a B. It'll yeah. be damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about features for you, Ken? C plus. C plus. <laughs> what the hell? No, I'm the one copying off this paper. Uh, I gave it a B minus. Actually, I went a little higher than C plus because I liked the break. The break up. <laughs> oh, break dude, up. oh, dude. Yeah, because yeah, it. it it broke it up for me. Yeah, you know, when yeah. I heard the Patrick dude and the other guy, I was like, okay, <laughs> now nah, it, broke, it broke it up. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, feature C plus for me. Okay. Yeah. So, um, execution, I'm at a B. Interesting. I'm at a B plus on execution. I feel like yeah, he really. sought out exactly what he wanted to do. Well, you know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Let me, I, let me I, switch that out. <laughs> I mean, this, B plus. this is what he wanted to do. Project yeah. over <laughs> he right, he right, yeah. he right. I'm at, a, I'm at a B plus as yeah, well. He executed. Man, this, yeah, he did. He he, yeah. he sought out. He he came. He saw it. He conquered. Yeah. 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 Vinny, 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 okay. There you go. Uh, I'm at a B. Yeah, okay. I thought he, he executed well. Mm -hmm. You play value. That's C plus. Okay. You got C plus. Mm -hmm. C plus. Damn it, Ken. Damn, Damn, what the hell? I don't know, right? What what's going on here? I don't know. This is a tough couch over here. Uh, God. C plus. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 fucking sectional. We got to open, bro. Fucking sectional. I guess I'm on, I'm on a slight island. Um, replay by I'm at a B. Okay. Overall, I'm at a B plus. Okay. Overall, I'm at a B minus. B minus. Yeah, I'm at a B minus. Damn. <laughs> the hell, this is a section. I'll be. Don't tell me you got a B, B minus. minus. Yeah. You got a B minus? You know, that's, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, section at the bar yeah. and shit. It's too good to give it like a C. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not it that. It's, it's not, not a C. Not yeah. that. Look, shit. Uh, D2X. Look. I know we don't do it if you watch it, but. Uh, <laughs> you in the chamber now, my boy. I hope you watch it. Uh, appreciate everybody. Look, have you ever heard of D2X? Is this your first time? If this is not your first time, what was the project? Put it in the comment section. And if this is your first time, how did you feel? Let us Check know. Check them out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Do you agree with the grades? Do you disagree with the grades? You know, not, not, not too much conversation happened in the grades this time. We was cool. You know what I'm saying? We was not in an uproar. But how do you feel? Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you next time we out.